That's furniture wood. It smells like furniture wood. That's what it smells like. That's how it looks like. All right, so one third of the way. I got to say this cigar is a Dominican cigar that's tried to be Cuban. Why? Because tiny, I, tiny. again, that emblem is so tiny, I can't tell what it is. But overall, it gets the point. This one, you know, the rabbit is more decked out. What's your thumb? Every single day. Hey guys, I'm the Soy Sasa Assassin, and welcome to another cigar review. Now, we're doing another Chinese cigar because that's what I brought back. So, today, Chantan, Great Wall, Year of the Rabbit. And I figure, you know, I, have, I better do it while it's still Year of the Rabbit because it's almost Year of the Dragon, and I'm planning for Year of the Dragon stuff. And, you know, for example, Davidoff. So, might as well do this now and not have to worry about it later. Brand new box. No, I think I always make the mistake of not asking what's in the cigar. Maybe next time when I buy it, I'll ask. So, now that I got the reflective part off, let's uh, get a good look. There's a little bunny right here. You know, money and bunny and more gold and gray wall cigars over here. That stamp. There's always a square wall cigar. It's just different form of it. So, and obviously cigar warning. This wood smell like red wood, but you know that's furniture wood. It smell like furniture wood. That's what it smells like. Let's get my handy nail. To cut this on the side so I can open it. There we go. Ah, that's how it looks like. Okay. So, what it says is basically, uh, it's 53 gauge. The length is 133 millimeter. What do we get for 133 millimeter? Let's take a look. 133 millimeter means two inches. 5.2. Five, uh, so five and a quarter by 53. All right. Five and a quarter by 53. So a little bit just kind of a Toro. And let's see if they say anything about what is this blend. And this is what I think. Like you know, Chinese people really don't know, don't care about the blend, so they don't really talk about blend. But they did say that there is some Dominican Republic tobacco in here, and the rest it didn't say. Okay, and it's like you know, Happy New Year to the Rabbit Year kind of stuff. You don't want to know. Now let's take a look at the cigar. If I can get it up. Now that sounds horrible. If I can remove one. That's how it looks like. I'm gonna hold it better. That's closer. There we go. Alright. So the bottom is the, obviously the look of the, the stamp and everything. Oh my god. Alright, let's take remove this. It's similar to all the other year of the, the, the from the gray wall that I show. So let me remove this really sticky 
Ben. Oh, that's got to rip it. I think that's got to rip. Let's see if I can remove it this way. Come on. Come off. E. Come on. All right, there we go. Got it off. But like I said, it looks like a stamp kind of thing. But, you know, obviously you can't use this as a stamp. Yep, pretty sure you can use it. They, they make it look like stamp. Like these perforation is not even a perforation. It's not see-through. So that's the bottom band. Now. It's a, it's a woodsy smell, but it's not very apparent. Cotton light. In terms of the price on this, uh, I forgot how much it is. I gotta be honest with you. Probably roughly 20 bucks a stick, somewhere there. But I think they don't have any more, so just think of it as a reference, okay? 20 bucks. Oaky. It's just oak, like drawer. Like when you open the drawer, like the wood shaving. Okay. Light it up without wasting too much time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get things done. And of course, get the fan going. Mm. Cedar. A lot of cedar, a little bit creamy. A little bit of nutmeg ish. Little bit of leather slash cherry. It's kind of weird. They're kind of like in between flavor. And pepper. And pepper. It's very distinct. The flavor jump up right away. But it's like. It's in between flavors. Like you can you taste it, you're like, it could be this, it could be that. But it's very strong. It can it could be either or. It almost like they overlapped. Yeah, that's what it now. This one I need to kind of concentrate on this. Let me smoke one third, I come back. Um Yeah, I need to slow down on this. Too fast is bitter so be right back all right so one third of the way i gotta say this cigar is a dominican cigar that's try to be cuban why because i have that like the really weird um that cubanesque hay earthiness going through a little bit and it disappeared and now it's woodsy it has floral notes. It's got a little bit of like toasted nuts, you know, like Connecticut. And some caramel sweetness. And that sweetness is actually very pungent. You know, it's very like up there after the woodsiness goes. And then it's like the thing is that if you smoke fast enough, like what I'm trying to catch up, right? Fast enough. You get that weird Cubanist earthiness to it, but it goes away like boom quickly. So I don't know. I, I feel like this is a Cuban wannabe, but it's not there. They might have shoved something in there that I don't know about. Obviously, I don't know the blend. But for a Connecticut and a almost medium strength, that's actually not bad. 
Yeah, the flavor changes here and there. It's kind of weird. It's um, it, it, it's confusing. Tastes good though. It tastes good. It has it has that Asian or Chinese cigar quality or characteristic, but it's also tried to be something else. But it never got there. It's like this is still like uh like I wouldn't be surprised somebody call it Dominican Piro, but it's too sweet to be a Dominican Piro. So I don't know. Well, only way to figure it out is to continue to smoke it. Second there, be right back. Alright, close the last little bit. I kind of over smoked it a little bit because it kind of tastes good. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's very cedary cigar. It's mostly woods, you know, um, and at times sweet, at times earthy. So, is it a $20 cigar? I want to say it's like $17, $18, not $20. But then again, I also don't remember how much this costs. So, I'm going to say about $18 uh, that I will be okay with for this particular cigar. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. It's relatively light. Okay, it's relatively light, so I will say just under medium. All right, just under medium. Ooh, this is hot. I can't get this bin off. I'm still trying. Uh, all right, here we go. Got the bin off. Uh, a lot of time I try to rip the bin from the inside, so the rip is not on the outside but the inside. So let me get it from the inside. But like that's if you want to cooperate. Ah, oh, Nike. Here we go. Working on it. Working on it. See, I just rip it from the inside, and it kind of does better job than outside. So here we go. All right. So there's the bin. Very shiny, shiny, shiny. Again, that emblem is so tiny, I can't tell what it is. But overall, it get the point across. G4 Grey Wall. Grey Wall since 1918. So, let me see. Now, I have another video for the Grey Wall Limited Edition. The, the bands on top. You can see, this band is actually more decked out than the Limited Edition band. I don't know why. But this band is not too bad. All right? The Limited Edition band is the, sh the smaller one. This one, you know, the rabbit, is more decked out. Which is, I'm totally fine with that. It looks good. You know, very festive. So, not too bad. Anyways, I will go back and smoke this last third, And I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm done with the cigar. I think it's a solid 17 and a half, 18, including the packaging. Okay? So, it's like a very tasty, well, flavorful Connecticut-ish cigar. Okay? Uh... It does remind me of the year of the Ox a little bit. I don't think they changed too much. Maybe the slight one or two things that were changed, but wasn't a big change. But I wouldn't say it's overly special either. It, it does taste okay. Last third. Last third is just woodsy, but still flavorful. So it's a light cigar. You can smoke this in the day, like during the morning or something like that. It wouldn't kill you. The pepper is like not that much pepper. And uh, the rest is all just regular flavor. So, 18 bucks, packaging, quality, the smoke, the flavor is there. Um, to be honest, I wanted to go with a 17, but they, they did give you a solid wood box, if you can't hear that. So, got to give them that a little bit. We'll see. Hopefully they do a better job. You yeah, the dragon. I missed out Year of the Tiger when I went back there. It was out. They don't have any more. So I couldn't get a Year of the Tiger. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said that. I had to do it at the end of the year because this year is Year of the Tiger, not Rabbit. No, the Year of the Tiger is the previous year. It's Rabbit. So that was, I was right. Yeah. That's what it was, I think. Anyways. That's it for this particular cigar review. If you like, subscribe, like, comment, and I don't know. If I have enough comment, I'll probably give one away. So, uh, and share this video. 
we're in the path to continue to get to 1,000 subscribers. We'll see where that goes. Okay, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something like that at 1,000 subscribers. And we'll just continue to do other reviews as we go. I'll see you guys in other reviews. Bye, guys.